Martin Morning. Every morning when you open your eyes. Martin Morning. You're always in for a big surprise. You might be a dragon with a tail. With a tail? A witch. Or a caveman hunting down a trail. Bobo is your friend and biggest fan. We're going to have fun. Your favorite girlfriend is Roxanne. You sure make a great dragon. Martin Morning. Secret agent and vampire too. Martin Morning. We can never be bored with you. Martin Morning. You do something different every day. Martin Morning. Adventure is your middle name. Could only happen to me. morning for a second, I thought it finally happened. I felt normal. <clears throat> My throat was a little sore, but no big deal. I should have known. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is too weird. Story of my life. Ah. Ah, yes, your throat is a little irritated. I'll get you some cough syrup. Well, what can we do about this? I know, dear. I sure wasn't going to look normal that day. Oops. <laughs> Not funny, Gromo. Wow, wow, wow. This is great, we can play Dungeons and Dragons. No way. I have a sore throat that keeps making me cough. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. I'll be the fearless knight and you'll be the dangerous dragon. And Roxanne can be the beautiful princess, hmm? No, no way. I want to have a normal day today. Get it? Normal. <gasps> you can fly too. Gee. Oh. Some people have all the luck. Hey, Gromo, I'd really like to sneak into school today without anyone noticing. So if you could please not... Hey, guys, look at this! Martin's a dragon. He can breathe fire and fly and everything! Way to go, Gromo. Thanks a lot. Wow, wow look at that! Ooh. It's unbelievable! Wow. You breathe legs hot enough to cook a chicken? Do you have superpowers? <gasps> Do you eat pizzas or people? Gee. Oh, um, how's it going, Roxanne? You sure make a great dragon. Just exactly what's going on here. Martin Morning, you again. Every day, as soon as you get here, there's trouble. But, Mr. Grinsaw... Mm, silence! If you don't stop causing trouble around here, I'm going to recommend that you be expelled. Yes, Mr. Grinsaw. Well, so much for sneaking in unnoticed. Hm. Back, almighty dragon, or I, fearless grizzly knight Gromo, will run you through. Cut it out, Gromo. We're going to get in trouble. What? You dare defy me? You're begging for a taste of my sword? They don't call me Grizzly for nothing. I've slain bigger beasts than Gromo. Well, you're confident today, Gromo. No doubt you've done your homework. So tell me, what lies beneath the Earth's surface? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in your make-believe world night, Gromo. But what about the real one? Mm. Lava is what? Jabba the Hutt! <laughs> <laughs> Not Jabba the Hutt. Lava is what... Uh-oh. That's it! Roxanne! Take Martin and Grobo to the principal's office this minute! <laughs> I told you we'd get in trouble. Dragons under the earth. What was that about, Gromo? <gasps> I told you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Martin. Well, you have just broken the law, Martin. The law? What law? The law of the dragons. One and only one dragon. Not two, three, or four. Certainly not five. Only one can guard the treasure. I, Dragon, guardian of the treasure for 94... Oh, uh, no, 49. I uh, uh, can't remember. Anyway, I challenge you to a duel. The winner will be the new guardian. But you see, sir, I'm not a real dragon. 
That's true, and he's not a real dragon for only one day. Yeah, huh. tomorrow he'll be something completely else, like an ant or a planet or a fold-out couch. So it'd be silly to have a duel for nothing. <laughs> the law is the law. You must agree to the duel. Uh, well, let me think it over for a minute. What are we going to do, guys? I don't know what to cry. Run for your life! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, curses on you. <laughs> Martin, Martin Morning, you come back here this minute. Ah, oh, damage to public property, you are in for it now. It is high time somebody took over the direction of this school. Uh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What do we do? Oh, fearless knight. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, no. Huh? This way. Ah. <laughs> If you won't fight the duel with me, I'll fry her like a Don't sausage. Don't let it go! <laughs> 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 Yes, I'd like to speak to the Academy Inspector about the shocking incompetence of my superior, Mr. Pickle. Yes, I'll wait. Who is going to be the new principal? <laughs> me! This will search it! I'm a coward. Remember me too, a frozen stiff coward. What are we gonna do? The police will never believe us. Oh. Let's face it, this is all my fault. It's my duty to rescue Roxanne. Yes, Martin, you really are a true fearless knight. Uh, I mean, dragon. Well, anyway, yes. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be safer if I come with you. You're a real pal, Gromo. This way. Ugh, it stinks down there. <gasps> Look! I'm sorry, I had to be a little brutal back there, Roxanne. Roxanne! No, uh, Roxanne. Don't worry, I have no intention of frying you, but this is the law. Only one dragon can guard the treasure. But what treasure are you talking about? I don't see any jewels or gold or valuable things. <laughs> you just can't put a price on the treasure I'm guarding. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, something very mysterious. You can't remember, can you? Well, uh, I must admit that my memory isn't what it used to be. But I know it's extremely, um, important. Martin! Gromo! Never fear, we're here, Roxanne. Ah, uh, Martin! You've come at last! Yes, um, I've decided to obey the law and accept your challenge. Hmm, just in time. Here's the rule. <clears throat> the dragon that breathes the biggest flames wins and guards the treasure. Uh, the loser has to, uh, the loser has to, uh, now what does he have to do again? Uh, he has to retire? He has to retire? Uh, uh, unless it is, uh, of course, that's it. Hmm, the loser jumps into the river oh, of molten oh. lava. Oh. 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 The present guardian of the treasure begins. That means me. <coughs> 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 He may be old, but he's still pretty hot. Yeah, no. Your turn, Martin. Um. What's he doing? I think you made a mistake. 
No, the law's the law. I have to jump into the river of lava. No, you don't. You're, you're not remembering right. But I remember it now, and it says the loser has to retire. Oh, are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, then uh, I must obey the law. At last, I can join my friends. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Well, it's been nice to meet you. Happy scales to you. Guys, we better go now. Mrs. Busby must be wondering what we're up to. We should have been back from Pickle's office ages ago. We're gonna get punished, and you will too, Roxanne. Noble sir, before you go, may I ask you one last dragonly deed? A former guardian could never refuse his successor. You really think this will work? I hope so. Come in. Yeah, I'm Martin and Grummo. You're constantly being sent to my office. Well, what did you do now? I'm listening. Um, well... Ah! Ah! What the This is the Academy Inspector speaking. Ah, uh, Mr. Inspector, how do you do? Ah! Uh, Raoul Kritzel here. I'm calling to inform you of the extreme incompetence of the... Ah! Nor an earthquake, I tell you. Of course, I'm sure. Call out the fire department, the police, the National Guard, the army, oh, and keep the press away. Uh, Mr. Pickle, can we go home then? No, get back to class. Oh, wait, we must evacuate the building. School's over. Martin, I wanted to say thank you for coming to rescue me from Dragon the Dragon. Oh, that's okay. No big deal. <laughs> yes, it was. It was brave. It was heroic. Ooh, was that Gromo? Hey, hero, you ready to fight? You bet! Well, my day wasn't exactly normal, but it turned out all right. So sometimes the weird story of my life has a good ending. Martin.